Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here on my channel, welcome. And I'm going to show a jewelry haul and some hard goods I got as well. I went out to two locations today, uh, local. I tried going to a new one that I found, but they were closed due to the weather, I guess. Anyways, we did have some snow in here. Um, so roads were a little bad in the morning and they just didn't open, I guess, because it's mainly ran by volunteers over there. But I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Hopefully I can go there on Thursday. Anyways, I have things that I picked up today at the two locations I went to. And a majority of it will be available for pre-sale if you see anything you're interested in. Um, some of it will come on Saturday. The things that I need to research further, I'll let you know that ahead of time. For the most part, I'll try to. And then um, some's mine, not much. Okay, a couple of things are mine. Anyways, um, if you see anything that you're interested in, you may email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Uh, the email is right here as well. <laughs> It'll also be in the description section underneath my video. Okay, so it's always there up top with other pertinent information to my channel as well, such as membership and... Um, you know, to support the channel, or just uh, uh, my sales schedule. I put out a Monday video um, around between 10 and 2, basically, every Monday, and that's Eastern time, uh, where I sell jewelry um, at a discount for the most part, things that didn't sell over the last couple of weeks, giving away as cheap as I could possibly afford to, which I think I do pretty well with that. I have a lot of people that really enjoy that video. So, let me get started. Okay, I'll let you know what I'm keeping, like I said. I'm going to show these first. These have cadmium on them, the ones in the middle. So, we have some pressed glass here. Um, this one looks like a chevron bead. I've never seen a polished chevron bead, okay? But that definitely does look like it's at least three layers there. These ones are cadmium. Not an expert on glass. I am learning, though. Um, yeah, I've learned a lot over the last few uh, years of selling but I'm, I'm gonna take my time here hopefully it's okay um we have we those are cadmium it's bright in here but you see the orange one there's orange on here these are beautiful polished pressed glass most of them if not all anyways i don't know what the findings are on it um let me see if i can look just to let you know I think they may have a gold plating over them. I didn't scare them out. I didn't test them. I'm looking for a marking. I don't know. Probably a gold gold plating on the wire. But they're nice. They're nice earrings. There's the chevron type bead. There's two of them on there. Three. And then there's a couple cadmium on each one. That's the orange ones. These are all glass. These aren't plastic. They're pretty though. And then you have the little flower down here with a little um, clear rhinestone. These are beautiful. I didn't wash these. I want to. I have to be careful with the uh, foil. I think these are probably foil back um, rhinestones there, but the glass can be washed and they look like they need it. So I'll carefully wipe them off. They're costume jewelry, but they're quite beautiful. They have, there's the backing, like the, I'm calling it the pillow backing. You know what I mean? It's like cushions back there. And these are a clip. They're beautiful fully pronged on the glass rhinestones and the clear glass dangles about three inches these ones are cool beautiful beautiful crystal so crystally actually some of them but i'm going to call them all glass i i've never seen chevron beads like that yet that's definitely what they look like i'd have to look at them closer but do you see the end you can see that it's more than one layer of glass I'm not sure. I nice so they're cute. Costume. Costume it is. Costume is me. Let me show my vase because I got very excited about this. This is pretty amazing. Um, it's numbered. I didn't get to it's I believe a clay. If I, I'm I'm just learning and grabbing these things. So uh, something that looks like it would be good to me. So excuse me if I'm incorrect. I believe that's clay. Okay. It's beautiful. Italy, um, there's 834 made or 54. I don't know. I picked it up. This is 383. I think that's what that means. If I'm incorrect on that, let me know. No, I don't believe so. This is quite beautiful. Um, I don't know exactly. I see swirl at the bottom. You see, see that it needs cleaned out. It's an amazing, um, 
Okay, so this is mine. I'm gonna keep it until I can figure out if and what the value is of it. It's in great shape. The gold, everything's pretty, like the gold painting and everything is, I didn't see any chips, cracks or anything on it. And I think it's lovely and I, I love vases. So at the price I paid for it, it's definitely worth at least double, triple, four times, maybe more than that. So I grabbed it. It does need some cleaning on the inside and out. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Let's put it aside. That's mine. I think it's lovely. Um, this is Lucite. I'll bring this Saturday. I'm going to, I think, I'm gonna, if I may make likes, I think I will. Don't I have some Lucite ladies? I mean, this is amazing. Made to look like a paperweight. You know how they have those big glass ones? But it's much lighter. Um, Lucite is uh, is very sturdy uh, material, and this is pretty amazing. Those are dried flowers in there, and that is a little piece of wood, like a log. I mean, I'm not a log, you know what I mean? It's made to look, it looks like a ring of a tree, but it's tiny. It's a little piece of wood. That's a, Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Oh, sitting inside the beautiful Lucite. Not real heavy, because Lucite isn't real heavy. But it looks, and I thought it was a glass when I picked it up. It's like, oh, it's cool. It's like, oh, it's Lucite. So I got it. Why not? This is cute. My daughter wants this. Um, those are painted. It looks like it's under, like there's a layer of glass over it. I don't, and I didn't take the label off. I have to take that off. Just look, it's just a simple thing, but it's pretty cute. Uh, red dragonflies. And little cute little faces on it. It's just adorable. I Somebody made this probably. But that paint is underneath the glass. Kind of dichroic, but not quite. I don't really know what it's called. Let's leave it at that. It's adorable. Um, let me show my Murano. I think he's a Murano. I don't I mean, he's, he is blown. Um, he's blown glass. I can see that hair. Okay. I don't know if he's a Murano or not, but he's amazing. And the eyeball. Let me enlarge this. Okay. Looks opaly. Looks like real opal, doesn't it? You see that? It's an amazing little, this is um, a gold thread. Um, the fish is about three inches. I think he's pretty amazing. Lady put him in with the paperweight. I was indignant. No, I'm joking. I, I was like, you're going to break my fish. But he's in great shape. And look at the beauty. Blown glass. And that does look like an opal to me. But I thought he was amazing. I'll keep him for Saturday if I don't keep him. I mean, I want to value him. They can go upwards. Um, he's not huge, huge, but he's beautiful. And I do think that is an opal. I will look at it closer and have get an evaluate. I'm not going to get an evaluation. I can make a determination. It does look like opal, but I'll figure it out. If anybody has any comments on my on the fish, email me or let me know. He's amazing, though. I I had a big Murano piece, much bigger, like double this size. But this is a nice quality piece, actually. And I don't know if it's Murano, but I do believe it. He's amazing. Okay. Another vase. Look. I don't know much about it. It's hand-painted. Beautiful, though, and handmade. So I bought it. I like vases, and I collect the miniatures. And that's miniature enough. It's about two and a half inches. It's bigger than two and a half inches. I don't know. It's about three, four inches. I really don't know how big it is. Okay, I'm going to lose track of what I'm doing here. This is a, this is nice. This is a 925 Thailand. And that's, I believe that is turquoise, like, laid in there. But it is, it's Thailand in 925. It's nice. Thailand's beautiful sterling. They have a beautiful silver mine. Um, nine to, I mean, they're known for it. Thailand 925 and something that I can't read. Some of these initials, S-E, and a copywriter in there or something. So I'll figure it out. Um, it's a nice ring. Let me tell you what size it is. It's a, it's pretty. It is a size 8, right at an 8. And it is big on my finger a little bit, so I would I would believe that. It's, it's a wide band. It's fitting like a 7.5 probably. Open back, which is kind of weird for this. Um but it is made in Thailand, so it's not Native American. I know that because it has a Thailand marking on it. So I guess maybe it's not that weird that it's open in the back. Okay. It is right on an 8. And it's a little bit of a wide band, but not in the back. I think it's fitting about like an 8, maybe a seven and a half, seven and three quarters. It's a nice ring. Am I too close? They are like a light blue. And the mapping going through it is a brown. Let me show you. 
It's pretty, it's pretty color. I believe it is turquoise. Let me close that up a little bit. I'm on 10%. I hope my phone doesn't die. This is nice. I want to clean this up. I'm going to clean it up with a brush, toothbrush without water. These, this is a Coro Sterling vintage um, bracelet. It needs, I won't clean that Sterling off. See, it's foil back, so I won't wet it, but I'm going to brush it up with a toothbrush a little bit, try to clean it. It's a lovely Coro bracelet, actually. And I'm thinking 1940s on it. I will measure it. So it's a seven and a half and probably fitting about like that as well. It's a um, box clasp and, you know, inside box or box, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cora Sterling. ring. I don't think it's Sterling. I'll test it again though and make sure if I'm pronouncing that right. O-N-E-I-D-A. It's a nice little ring though. I'll test it again. It looks like it should be some kind of precious metal. So I'll put it through and I'll look at the markings. There's like a star on it and some other marks on it. This is at five and three quarters. Um, it's, it can open, it's bypassed, so you can't make it bigger. I think it looks nice there. Um, I can get it on here. I don't like how tight it feels on my finger though, but five and three quarters, I mean on the ring, it's too tight. I would have to squeeze it literally. Um, I, this looks like a sterling plating to me, by the way, it's fading, but I don't know if it's original to the bracelet. Look how pretty it is. It's like few, I don't know exactly what to call it, fused glass. You see that? It's like a layer that black and white is underneath this clear. And I thought it was pretty. So I grabbed it. They're pear-shaped, it's costume, and lovely. Don't really know the dating exactly on it, to be honest. Um, the, I don't think that that lobster claw is original to the piece, though. It kind of looks... Like it's not, I mean, it could be, I could be wrong. I think they added it. Um, it is a, can be worn from a seven to a seven and three quarters, seven inches to seven and three quarters. See, look how cute. They have that little molded piece of glass on the end and then this, and then I do think that may have been added, but it's pretty, it's a thin metal. Um, it may, I don't know exactly how old it's okay. So it's that this is. West Germany, right here. Some of it glows oddly. I wanted to see if maybe it was, um, it's weird, some of it glows orange. Like, this is all glass. You can't really see it. Maybe on here you can, I don't know. It is Western Germany uh, molded glass. Um, some crackle looking glass. This hair is molded as well. And it's all glass. It signs Western Germany in the back as a typical ends it. Uh, they have Western Germany, I think, on the earrings. or definitely full Western Germany. And this is as well. And they're actually a set. It's quite lovely. It's all glass. It's nice. It's vintage Western Germany set. See how, like, some of them glow, like, really cool. Some of the necklace is glowing like that, and some's not. Like there, I mean, it's different pieces are glowing at different art. I think it's beautiful. I have back here, I have a, um, a, this is Joan Rivers, two, um, fire polish check glass necklaces. Uh, this is an, an enhancer that can come off. It's Joan Rivers as well. You can take it off of it. These are two very long Joan Rivers necklaces. Signed Joan Rivers on the top, up here, and look how beautiful they are. They are a brown, yellow, um, dark yellow, brown, and like a smoky topaz color on this check glass. Um, it's nice. And this is an enhancer, pretty big. Look how big it is. You can take that off. And her stuff would be gold plated. And I don't know, I guess that came with the necklaces. I don't know if it's a check glass, you know, or not. I'm not sure. But those are two Joan Rivers. This is a beautiful Morvella. I don't see them real, real often, I mean, um, but this one is um, a beautiful glass faux pearl. Uh, I love the clasp, and it's signed Marvella in the back, M-A-R-V-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. They were known for their pearls. This is a beautiful necklace with a faux pearl there, lovely. Um, or let me move my fish. Okay. This is rock crystal and pearl, a strand with sterling, not a strand. It is a necklace with a that sterling clasp, rock crystal and freshwater culture pearls broke shape. It's nice. I have a short one like this actually. 
that I wear for a pair of earrings that are rock crystal. And um, that's, it's nice. This is a Nora Pearls. It has the H on here in 925. These are strung and knotted in between, I believe. They are knotted and strung on silk, knotted in between. They're pretty. They are a brownish, like, um, a nice brownish, like, orangish color of pearls. Those are Nora Pearls. I feel like my phone's going to get dead. I certainly hope not. <laughs> um, these are ruby and so is the cross now the cross is good i tested them on my gem tester as well K korea necklace on the chain vintage korea and this is a uh, lind i think it's a vintage lind it's gold plated these are sterling and have a name on them i have to look up but look they're they're pretty they're nice they are um rubies probably man-made i would guess on both of them honestly um this is nice i think uh these are bijou beautiful there's the back. These are vintage clip earrings. There's the back. Everything looks like it's screwed together. You know, that type of thing. These are really, really nice. And everything's fully pronged. They're 50 post AB time period when they start using a green, red, brown in the middle. I'm talking about there's like little stone, like marquee shaped stones back here that are red. And so for these are mother of pearl little nubs. <laughs> They think are cute. Red in the background. Stone. Don't know who the maker is. Have to look at them better. You can wear this piece of stone or this with it. Probably wear interchangeable earrings, but I happened upon one pair. I don't know if that's sodalite or what, but they are stone because I tested them. Um, I have these necklaces too. I didn't show these. Let me show them. Well, let me show this and then I'll take it off. This is a beautiful vintage 1928 a 1928 brand necklace with a barrel clasp and beautiful look at it they make their jewelry look older plastic um heavier plastic on here very nice beautiful 1928 necklace has the tag has the mark no it's 1928 by that um this is beautiful i've never seen shapes like this this is a weird looking shape do you see it um black faceted glass it has this clasp it's a probably um a silver tone uh, with little rhinestones, and it. it's a short necklace. It's beautiful. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is vintage. Um, I didn't get see if the clasp is uh, whatever, like gold filled or whatever, but you have these beautiful faceted black glass, longer one that I thought, you know, together with that looked good. Beautiful, I think. Don't want to crush my fish. These are Laurel Birch. Cashy earrings costume, but you know, I have to clean them up a little bit. Laurel Birch Cashy, these are a beautiful pair of Ian Klein faux pearls with the matte finish. Um, got my whole phone on my spell. I think they're rather nice. Ian Klein signed AK matte finish gold plating, lovely. I think I have um, this is a really nice Napier. Look at it. Um, this is the fold over class sign Napier with a patent pending. I didn't look it up yet, but um, it's a nice, heavy, got a good weight to it. Um, metal with a red finish on it, enamel, and that's gold plated. I have to look it up. I'm not sure of the exact dating on it. I think it's probably 90s or 80s or 90s, but I'm not sure. It could be earlier because they've been making jewelry and I've seen the design earlier. Um, bracelets. I, just, I don't know who the maker is on these guys. So. I don't know. Okay. But I saw Kate Spade that looks similar. They were in a Victoria's Secret bag, but I don't think so. They're just three different colors. You have the bronze, the brass, and the silver tone for the sterling like look. A finish type thing. They have nice and glossy. This one, the one that's bronze colored, they don't stick to a magnet either. I did check them. But these two are have the diamond, the crystals or rhinestones okay and this one does not but i think they're, they're to go together they're a trio set of lovely got a good weight to them feel good quality i seen kate i saw kate spade online that looked just like it but i don't know if they're kate spade or who they are but they're rather beautiful i think um they're nice in good shape beautiful faceted red glass stretch bracelet gold tone and silver tone have to test it and look for a marking don't know. I don't think it's high end though, but it's decent in. I, I can tell by looking at it. Okay, so there's that. 
Um, I showed the pearls, right? These are a designer that I don't know, but they're lovely. Uh, those are faux pearls. There's the back, look, faux pearls. Um, Mobe style, this is really nice color of gold. It's not faded, all their pierced earrings, they're beautiful. I don't see a mark, I'll have to look closer. I was in a rush. Always a rush, always rush, rush, rush. I have my little pewter sheep with a name on it. Um, it's just sold on this cord, I think. Look, I don't know who the name is back there, um, but I'm gonna look it up. And I think he's pewter, I didn't test it, but it looks and feels like it would be, it's adorable. I have these. Oh, my dog fell, 1950s pooch with a prong set rhinestone collar on. Isn't it cute? Look. <laughs> it's a little faded, but I didn't want to pass it up. And this little fish, a lovely little enamel fish. I didn't want to pass it up for the price that I got. I thought they were cute. He's cute. One of those little kind of cloisonne. I'm not going to call it It's kind of cloisonne. She looks older too, actually. I showed that. I sold a necklace just like this. I think I remember who it was too, but look, I have the pair of earrings now, if you want them. They are crystals and gold plating. These are beautiful, look like 18 karat, but these are Monet. It's written around the edges and it's black enamel and the gold, metal, gold plating on these looks like 18 karat gold. It's a high, it looks like a higher carat. Nice costume, but lovely, but it mostly is costume for me. I think the only sterling I found was the Coro sterling, and well, I have some sterling findings on the ends of things, but that and possibly that spoon ring. Oh, and look at this. I, oh, my God, it's so cute. It's hammered out on the end. This is a spoon as well. I found this at the same location. It says memory, I think. And it is signed to William Rogers Manufacturing Company. And somebody hammered the tail out to look like a fin, a fish fin, isn't that? I mean, I think it's pretty amazing. And I thought it was cute. Look, they're not the same thing. This one I have to look at closer. It has a lot of markings on it. But cute, isn't it? I thought it was adorable. A little fin thing there. Okay. I'm moving along because my phone's going to get that. I showed those. I, let's just show everything on here. House by Lucinda's. Um, I think it's called House by Lucinda, right? That's a Valentine's Day one. It's amazing. That is a a um, piece of moon glow in there. Oh, a dog dropped. This is a vintage birch. This frog says, kiss a frog, matte finish, um, to find a print. And it's Danecraft, I believe. Um, that's a cool vintage V right there. I thought these were amazing, little scatter pins, um, celluloid rhinestones, um, the backing is as such. Okay. They're cool. I thought they were cute. I just grabbed them. I, I didn't pay much for them. I won't sell them for much either. This looks gilt with gold, but splashed on like some kind of nickel or something, but, um, and I believe it's celluloid as well. Um, it has a, um, a C clasp pin on it and it's it's um it's it's not real heavy so i'm thinking it's um splashed or something like a nickel he's cute i think it's canada seagull am i saying that right here he's not prone i can take him off i closed a couple of them because i kept on phone 1990 seagull pewter canada this is adorable actually this looks it's 1920 so we got 33 years on it and his fish is on a string they both pin on I thought it was really cute. Um, I know it's not a real pricey piece, but I don't care. I sew everything um, that I find when I'm out local. I find everything local. I have to get out. I mean, it, I don't find a lot. I'm going to go to the one store that I know sells, like, different types of jewelry so I can get some of them. But I love the costume, and that's what I predominantly sell. But I do try to get, like, turquoise and amber. I'll go to one of the stores that sell that soon. This is a Marvella. Again, it has like a textured and shiny. The same one it makes the pearls. This is vintage mid-century mushroom. I've never seen, probably check class on it is my guess. Um, I've never seen a Marvella piece like this. A glass mushroom by Marvella, M-A-R-V-E-L-L-A. The place it's known for the pearls, you know, mid-century. Vintage. I think it's adorable. It fell again. I keep dropping it. That's about it. This is, I showed you him. That's cute. This is nice. It's a, it's rhinestones. Um, this is a little clover, little vintage 
mid-century before pin there. So, is that all I have? I hear somebody screaming. I have a sterling chain, nothing big, but I got it to clean up and put on when I find jewelry. I try grabbing them whenever I can. Um, I have this. I don't know who the maker is. It's magnetic, though. I don't see, it has like a brassy or gold tone and silver tone, four chains. I have to look at it. It doesn't stick to a magnet. I will test it because I can miss markings. I'm going blind. But there's that. I think it's pretty. Let me find a bust. We'll take these off. I said I was taking off the 1928 and I hung something else on it. It's nice. Four strand, three, four strands, silver tone, I think, but it could be silver. I'll test it just to be safe. Can you hear that? My, my middle daughter, she's insane. Okay, like me. All right, um, now there's two of them. I wonder what Eva thinks. No, I'm joking. She can handle it. Um, This is, this is AB, a lovely AB necklace. Look, and it's, it's longer. It's got an extender on it, and I am like, my phone's going to get that any minute. I think I'll make it. Hopefully you're still here. If you are, let me know. If you are, let me know you made it. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate those of you. All of you, actually. Even if you come on for two minutes, I appreciate you. Thank you for checking the video out. Let me know if you liked anything, what your favorite piece was. Um, if you know anybody that loves costume, uh, refer them to me because that's what I mainly plan on dealing with. And I will get other things sometimes, like the little Murano fish. He's still costume, right? And other things. Okay, so this is a B. It's nice. I, I think it's nice. I'm on 10%. I will be done on time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Graduated. That's what I was trying to say. They're graduated in size. I thought this, I thought this was a Monet. It doesn't matter what it is. This is pretty cool. This is an early... Sarah Coventry piece, signed Sarah Cov. Snail chain, very, very light. Feels like it should be Hong Kong, signed Sarah Cov. Look at it. You've got those little, it's kind of tangled up, but there are a bunch of little linked snail, um, S chain, snail chain. I think that's what they're called. All right, so that's what Anna found. That's what I found. I found two glass, well, one confirmed stone and one possibly stone or glass. Don't know if to confirm it. I can just tell that this is definitely stone. Okay, I have to test the findings, but looks like we're faceted verticrosite um some jasper may possibly agate okay maybe more verticrosite in that form but it's cute it's a small necklace it's nice and this i don't know if it's stone or glass i think it's stone by the way it looks pitted and so forth but again don't even know what kind i'll figure it out though anyways and i have to test the findings on it that is all i have i believe um i hope you see something you like Contact me if you want to buy anything. So far, the only things I, and let me mention, the fish is going to be saved, okay, because I, I want to research them. I'm going to save the Lucite block. I'm going to check these designer earrings out because I have to look for a name because I'm pretty sure there should be something on it. Um, besides that, the vase is mine, and I think everything else is up for, these two will be investigated further too. And everything else is up for pre, so if you see anything you want, contact me. All right, have a good night. Or a good day if you saw this Wednesday afternoon, depending on when it came up.